What's up DCS crew? It's Carlos back at it again today with a knife review on the uh, CJRB Mylea. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing in the bathroom, well, it's because that um, even though I've been using this for a little while and I'm always careful with my knives, they say, you know, watch out what you're doing. You don't want to cut yourself. You know, the knives demand sacrifice. Uh, it actually got me today. Um, you know, the, the it got me right here on my, my index finger. It took a nice little slice, about a half an inch. Um, you know, fun. <laughs> not something that I expected. It sliced me pretty damn good. Uh, it does work surprisingly well and it's nice and sharp out of the box, so I will give it that. But this review is going to be on the CJRB uh, Mylea. This is a design from Swax. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bandage this up, clean it up a little bit. And once the intro plays out, we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about this knife. Uh, what are my thoughts? And well, you already know that it cuts but um, will it fit in your EDC um, rotation? So stay tuned and we'll find out a little bit more on the CJRB Mylea. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, the CJRB swags definitely got me. Um, went ahead and I cleaned up the you know the little cut it's it's nothing too big it'll probably heal within a day or two and probably even faster because I've been using these band-aids uh that have antibiotic already preloaded in them because I can't ever seem to find my neosporin when I need it you know or triple antibiotic you know anything of that nature which by the way it's about the size of my band-aid so <laughs> just to consider as far as size is concerned it is a pretty small knife okay and we'll do some size comparisons but in the meantime i did want to go ahead and show that off and uh this is the mylea uh let me see if it will focus there so i can get it a little bit closer come on come on all right there we go so as you can see here uh it has a cjrb insignia on the front and then the swags maker's mark in the back let's see if i can get some better light there there we go and then I'm going to open it slowly this time. <laughs> and if I look closely right over here, man, my phone just does not seem to be focusing. There we go. Uh, you have the serial number on the top, uh, right under the thumb stud, and then you have the steel designation, which is Artisan Cutlery's Proprietary Steel AR RPM 9. Yes, this indeed is made in China. Sorry, folks. Uh, we're not quite there yet to be able to go ahead and get these kind of designs here in the US. Uh, so unfortunately, as far as OEM is concerned, um, you know, Chinese companies are still coming up to the plate when it comes to uh, quality designs uh, from US designers. So uh, like I mentioned before, uh, Swags actually designed this and a cool story about this particular knife. But um, before I go into that, let me go ahead and put this to the side and show off the specs for this, uh, this little bugger, <laughs> this little slicer. And boy, let me tell you, it does slice. OK, so there are the specs on your right. And let me go ahead and take this away, bring it back. Now, um, this particular knife is named the Mylea. Um, the Mylea actually is, is the real uh, name for it. And the reason why is because Swags dedicated this particular design to her friend, Leah. Uh, she, it was her best friend, hence the name My Leah. It's my best friend, Leah. Um, Leah, unfortunately, uh, is uh, no longer with us. And uh, it's something that as a result of the design of this knife, this is something that uh, Swags is going to keep uh, very fondly for the rest of her life. So a uh, huge shout out to CGRB for helping her with this design. Uh, it's a pretty intuitive design. It's it's small, relatively simple, but it's something that you don't really see very often because of the size and just the, the, the standard deployment method. So you have thumb studs on both sides. It is tapped for left and right hand carry, but aside from being a thumb stud, uh, you know, deployed knife, it is also a front flipper. And it actually is a very easy front flipper at that, considering the fact that it is very, very small in size, as you can see here. I don't have huge hands, but again, I don't have little small hands either. And as you can see, well, let me go ahead and show you this. Blade doesn't even, uh, you know, pass my, my palm. And I mean, the full knife, I'll just do this so I don't cut the hell out of myself again. As you can see here, it doesn't even, you know, uh, fit the, the, the width of my palm and my hand. So now that said, here is a look at the front, show side, the back, 
Flip side. Top. Come on. There we go. And bottom. And you can see that this is pretty much all G10 here with a, uh, a little pivot uh, collar. And in this particular one, it's red with a black pivot collar. I like that they did that and then they put black hardware on uh, both sides. It does have a deep carry clip that you can use either on your left or your right hand uh, carry. So if you're using it in your left or your right pocket, it will find its way into each with ease. And the pocket clip actually works surprisingly well. Now, uh, as far as size comparisons, let me go ahead and put this down and bring a couple of other uh, friends that are probably about the same size, uh, size wise, just for comparison, a couple of small knives to the table, starting with uh, this little design from Dirk Pinkerton. This is the little Main Street. Uh, I have the Shuffle 2 from Kershaw. What else do I have? Oh, I have another Kershaw here. This is the Atmos uh, Dmitry Sinkovich design. I have a spider pro here. This is the UK pen knife in S110V. This is another CJRB, which is the Phelps bar in uh, JG10 with D2 steel. This is the small variant. So that's actually uh, small, but still bigger than the, uh, the Mylea. And then this is the Best Tech Delta. This is a design by uh, Poltergeist Works. And last but not least, uh, I have a Marcarta variant of the Kaiser Jungus. This is a, a Carlos Elsner design. Okay, now moving forward. Uh, because of its size um, and of the blade stock, which by the way, I, I really like how this was, uh, this was put together. Um, but because of this size, um, this is ideal for a fifth pocket knife or for somebody with smaller hands uh, or, you know, uh, people that prefer very, very small knives, but still functional uh, knives. I mean, it still runs on bearings. The, uh, the lockup is solid. The detent is solid on this. You can deploy it a manner of different, uh, I mean, just quite a few different ways. And you have to be careful with the fact that because it is so small and it's so limber that it'll probably cut you. And, um, and I speak from experience. <laughs> um, so aside from that, it, it does have Artisan's um, RPM9 uh, steel. This is something that is exclusive to Artisan Cutlery and uh, CJRB. Uh, huge shout out to uh, Russell from uh, Artisan and CJRB for, for getting this out to me so that I can go ahead and check out uh, firsthand. I can tell you that um, while there are quite a few knives that are currently out that have RPM9, um, some of them have thicker stocks. So to be able to get a knife that's, uh, that's this slicey um, with RPM9 and, and actually put it to some use, it's, it's a real treat. Um, I've used this to cut fruit. Um, I've used this just to cut twine and, and open boxes, that sort of thing. And for general EDC purposes, uh, this is really, really good. It disappears in my pocket. You know, when you take it out, it's pretty unassuming uh, when you are, you know, in public, that sort of thing. And I like the fact that, that they have red uh, as a color option because you see so few knives uh, come out these days with red. It's a nice sporty and, and high vis, but... Uh, not a, hey, look at me, I'm, you know, bright orange <laughs> type thing, but very, very nice. A lot of people like red a lot, and I'm surprised to see it not used uh, as much as it is uh, in the EDC community. You know, not everybody likes your standard black knife or your titanium or OD green or, you know, that sort of thing. But in, in you know, in defense, I guess you'll say, of the different companies that are, are putting releases out today, they are pushing the boundaries little by little, not only with steels like, you know, RPM9, but in colors like this red one that you have here. Uh, like I said before, this particular variant is, I'll see if I can show it there. Maybe I'll get that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is a J1918REF, and that designates the fact that this is the red variant, okay? So, talking a little bit about this knife, okay. <clears throat> uh, good and bad. Well, 
the good, I love the fact that the way that the blade is designed, it has this kind of like sheep's foot style blade profile. And then um, that you have a, kind of like a swedge that comes down here from the top and it's cut down to like almost like a bull nose. And you'll see that it, um, it stays true to that kind of sheep's foot design with some beautiful belly. Uh, but it also has an, a sturdy enough tip that even though it is a very slicey knife, um, it's, it still punctures really well, but it keeps a very, very nice tip. And um, it, it's not as fragile as say, you know, your average Spyderco, which will have, you know, a tip that's more like this, a nice thin stop, stock, but a very thin tip. So, you know, it, it makes me feel like I can use it uh, a little bit more than most knives, which is great because in all honesty, their proprietary steel, this, uh, this RPM9, has worked extremely, extremely well to date. So um, let me just go ahead and clean this here real quick. <clears throat> Very easy to sharpen. Uh, you know, you can sharpen this on the, uh, you know, Spyro Sharp Maker, the new Work Sharp Sharpener that they have with the stones that you can uh, interchange. Uh, you can use other stuff like um, uh, the KME, the Wicked Edge, that sort of thing. Um, and it's still, there's still enough blade here to be able to get, you know, most jobs done. Uh, you can even use it for small fruit and preparing and stuff. I used it for all manner of stuff. My uh, my dog Ziggy loves strawberries and uh, different things like that. So what I did was, you know, I just use it to kind of, you know, cut strawberries and to kind of take out the pits, that sort of thing. And uh, it worked extremely well. Um, I did not have any problems at all with it. And then my girlfriend liked it a lot because she doesn't have the biggest hands. And so when she saw it, she's like, oh, this is pretty nice, but what the hell is this? So I had to explain to her that it's a front flipper, you know, and that you can deploy it that way. And she's like, well, why the hell would you have a front flipper if it's got these thumb studs and I can just go like this? And I said, well, because reasons. <laughs> because everybody wants something different to be able to go ahead and uh, deploy with. This is the time where, you know, people want different, uh, it's the value of choice, I guess, variety. And, uh, you know, having different deployment methods helps because some people prefer to have a front style flipper and some people just prefer to have the thumb stud. But either way, because it has both, you have multiple uh, deployment options without having any uh, flipper tab get in your way if you're gonna go ahead and get anything in your pocket. So. Speaking of which, if you choose to go ahead and just take this off and slip this into your pocket, be aware that the um, the little area where the lanyard hole is uh, lit, uh, right here, um, it's not very big. And that will be, uh, be a bit of a problem if you're gonna use your standard, uh, the standard you know paracord, that sort of thing. Um, you can get some string in there and you can probably create something pretty cool, uh, but it's not gonna house you know some very um, thick, paracord you know you're not going to get your 550 paracord uh in there to be able to go ahead and work with so uh just keep that in mind now um at final thoughts for this particular knife in all honesty um for the price if you're looking to go ahead and check out you know a small slicey knife uh with a nice high grind uh you know sturdy tip in uh artisan cutlery and cgrb's newest blade uh iteration Okay, their blade composition, which is uh, this particular steel uh, in RPM9. This was probably your best bet to go ahead and check out. You can attach a little lanyard towards the end to kind of lengthen the, uh, the, the knife itself a little bit and kind of give you a little bit more leverage. Although honestly, the way that I'm holding it right now, I can get one, two, three uh, fingers almost on the blade and then just kind of use it like this and cut, you know, slice that sort of thing or skin uh, as, as much as I need to without any problem at all. So um, this is probably gonna be your most budget bet uh, and a great performer in this particular steel. Uh, so if you're interested in doing that, go ahead and check it out. If you're interested in a small knife that will rival a lot of other knives uh, in its its pricing category, you know, for the size, uh, you're, you're gonna be hard pressed to find something for the price that performs as well and that looks as good as the Mybia, okay? So um, that's just my, my verdict on it. And uh, if it was something that um, I had to recommend to somebody, yeah, I would recommend to somebody if they just needed a knife for just your standard EDC test. So um, go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna try and put a link below in the description uh, for you to go ahead and take a closer look at it. Um, and that's basically it, guys. Uh, huge shout out to CGRB for going ahead and allowing me to go ahead and check this out. 
Uh, huge shout out to Swags for designing this knife. I know that she has another knife design coming with another company uh, that starts with a K and ends with Iser. Uh, I believe it's out already, but you know, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag because it's not about that. In this video, it's about the uh, other Swags design, which is the Mylea. So um, yeah, that said, thank you so much for watching guys. And just remember, um, whether it's a big knife that you carry or a small knife, you can use something with some belly to it, or you can just have your standard worn cliff like this little main street from uh, Dirk Pinkerton and Concept. Uh, just remember guys, if you EDC, think of DCS and be sure to go ahead and be careful when you deploy your blades because you will cut yourself and keep some band-aids around. So that said, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Uh, I don't want to get cut anymore. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep one of these around just in case. Take care, guys. Peace.